Hello there. My name is Brian Cheatham with Get Cloud Savvy. I don't know about you, but I am constantly trying to find where to configure features and settings in Microsoft 365. There are dozens of admin portals and thousands of settings to configure. And don't even get me started on the constant movement of these settings when Microsoft changes their interfaces. So I'm on a quest, a quest for knowledge to figure out where the most common Microsoft 365 settings are configured. And guess what? I'm bringing you along for the ride. I've started a new YouTube series called, Where Do I Do That? In this series, I'll show you where to configure different settings, and most importantly, what the expected end user experience will be. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the default sign-in experience for Microsoft 365 users. So I'm gonna open up an incognito window or in private if you're using Edge. And I'm gonna to go to office.com slash login. So that's gonna take me to the sign-in page. I just, that saves me a click. That actually redirects you to login.microsoftonline.com. So we'll go and put our username in here, who's Megan, who's popular in the demo tenant that I'm using here. And notice how I have the default sign-in experience. The logo is the default Microsoft logo. The background is default. I don't have any other text or anything else down here um, that can also be customized. Uh, terms of use, uh, privacy and cookies, all this stuff is the default settings. So let's sign in. And this is important because on May 8th of this year, Microsoft is gonna require that you use number matching, okay? So this is what this is called, number matching with Microsoft Authenticator. So I proved that on my phone and I'm signed in. So default experience, I don't have any customization whatsoever. So now let's take a look at the customized experience. So let's launch an incognito window. We'll do the same thing. We're going to go to office.com slash use sign in this time. That will redirect me to login.microsoftonline.com. I'm going to sign in as Megan, the same user from before. And notice how the background has changed. I have a different logo. And I have a disclaimer here towards the bottom. So this is kind of the customized experience that we can get when we're signing in to 365. And then also notice how when I get redirected for my multi-factor that it's doing number matching, but it's doing the customized experience for number matching. Users still know that they're logging in to my tenant. And finally, I'm signed in. At the very top, I have the customized experience for Microsoft 365 within the Microsoft 365 dashboard. I can also go to another app, another web app, and I'll see the customized experience here as well. So when I'm done as a user and I'm ready to sign out, I also see the customized experience. So notice I've got the logo here and I've also got the background. So that is the customized experience. So now let's take a look at what it takes to configure this customized experience. So where would I do that? Where do I actually customize the sign-in experience for Microsoft 365? So let's launch the Microsoft 365 Admin Center I'm signed in as a global admin to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the logo here at the top, this top header here. So I'm gonna go show all, I'm gonna expand settings, then go down to org settings, then go to organization profile. And then under here, go to custom themes. So you should have a default theme already what we're gonna do is just edit this theme, okay? So simply come in here, click on edit, 
and then we want to go to logos. So notice how we can set a logo here in the header. So before you do anything, what I would always do is check to see what the specifications are for these images. It's very important. We want a logo or an image that is 200 by 48 pixels. We want a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF. So we're gonna use a PNG file. I'm gonna change this to upload, browse to the location, select my transparent image. And the reason that I'm using a transparent image is I want this to be used for both the light and the dark profiles or the dark themes. So I'm using the same logo for both and I'm using a white transparent logo. So it might take you a little bit to get these edited and sized the right way. It's a bit of an odd size for an image. You know, I played with the settings in 200 by 48, around there is a good size for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Then click on colors. Because if you notice, it's a little bit light. I can't really see the logo with the default uh, theme, the lighter theme. So I'm gonna click colors here and I'm just gonna change the default. We change the default to be a little bit of a darker gray. I'm gonna save this. And now we're just gonna let this bake. Uh, you won't be able to see it here. Uh, I haven't been able to get this to display right away. I don't know if Microsoft will ever fix this, but eventually we'll see the logo come up here in the top. It'll display up here in the top. Uh, we're gonna let this bake in the background while we configure the other settings. So next we wanna look at the sign-in, the logo on the sign-in screen in the background image. So under admin centers, I'm going to Azure Active Directory. And you'll notice this takes me to Microsoft Entra, the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. This is the new directory admin center for Microsoft 365. So if I click show more, it will expand and show me user experiences. So we have Microsoft 365 Business Premium in this particular tenant. It has Azure AD Premium Plan 1, which includes the ability for you to see this company branding area here. Be mindful of the licensing that you have because you do need Azure AD Premium Plan 1 or Plan 2 for the setting. So company branding, You'll also notice here that I'm in a preview. This is default right now. Microsoft has set this as default uh, for anybody that has the ability to get this feature. Uh, it will eventually be the, the main interface. So we're gonna go ahead and configure using the preview settings because eventually you'll have to use this anyway. It's a wizard-like experience. It's not like the legacy interface was. So if we go into getting started here, I can click on edit. And then I can go into the wizard itself where I'm customizing the default sign-in experience. And what you can do is you can actually open up a URL that I'm gonna provide in the description below. What I like about this URL is it explains where these different icons or these different settings are. So the fave icon. That's an icon that goes at the top. We're not gonna set that, it's a pretty small image. The logo that I have isn't suitable for that, so we're gonna skip that portion. We're not gonna do the header logo, um, but we are gonna set the banner logo and some of these other things here. I just wanted you to see this URL so where you can get this, can kind of guide you through this experience, okay? So I'm gonna minimize this. And then what I wanna set is I wanna set the background image. So this is gonna be the image in the background of the sign-in screen. Pay close attention to the size, the pixels, uh, the dimensions, I guess you'd say, for these images, as well as the total size. Microsoft will limit you. Image size recommended is 1920 by 1080. Max file size is 300 KB. So we're gonna move on to layout. This is all default. There's nothing that we're gonna change here. We're not setting a header. We don't wanna do anything in the header area. 
nothing in the footer, but I could change, remember we looked at the terms of use in the privacy and cookies? I could change the display text there or the URL that it points to. So if you have something custom for your organization, you can set that here. Move on to the sign-in form, and we're gonna set all of these images. So for the banner logo, image size 280 by 60, browse to the location. I'm gonna use the transparent color image that I have. And don't worry about it displaying this way in the interface. I think this is just a bug that Microsoft needs to fix in the way that this is displayed. It'll look right on the sign-in form. And then let's go to square logo. We'll set that. And then finally, we will set the darker theme. So this one's important because this is what we'll show whenever we use like autopilot or something like that. So we use Windows autopilot that out of box experience will actually display this logo for our users. And then finally, I wanna set the sign in page text. Go to review, and I can review all my settings here, and then click save. So how do we know that this worked? So we wanna allow about 10 to 15 minutes for this to bake in the background before we sign in again as a user to check our settings. So we're gonna wait 10, 15 minutes and we'll be right back. All right, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and launch our incognito window. And let's check our customized experience. So we're signing in as Megan again into the same tenant. Notice we have a background and we have a logo as well as disclaimer text. Specify the password. And now we should also see the experience, the customized experience for our number match. And you'll also see that we have a logo specified in the Microsoft 365 dashboard, right? So this is a regular user that's signed in. I see the logo that we set, the transparent logo, with the gray background. If I go into any of the other web apps, I'll also see that same experience at the top. So that's all there is to it. You just customized your Microsoft 365 sign-in experience.